So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a time-based chart or a graph. And to do that, I'm going to use the data that is from chapter one, uh, problem number 44 in the back of the, the end of the chapter in the exercises. Um, so I've opened up the, uh, the CSV file, the comma separated values and in Excel again, <clears throat> recognizes that, um, Excel uh, CSV is is an Excel file, and so if you just double click on it, and it should just load up uh, in Excel. So it just looks like a, a spreadsheet, just like all the other ones that we've looked at. Um, I, I wanted to use this as an opportunity to point out something that you may come across yourself, and that is these pound signs here, these number signs. Um, if you see those in a cell, the reason for it is because the length of the whatever data is in that cell exceeds the, the size of the cell itself. So a way to fix that is if you go into the spreadsheet, if you hover in between two columns, your cursor will change into a, a line with uh, two arrows on either side. If you double click, that will resize the field or the, the cells to be the width of or the, the lar largest width of the the width of the largest cell uh, that uh, that that is in this particular column. You can do the same with the um, rows as well. So you can see as I hover in between the two and the three row, um, my cursor changes to that line with uh, two arrows, except it's it's rotated by 90 degrees. So this uh, Creating a time-based chart is, is relatively simple. Um, you need basically a minimum of two columns. You need the, the time uh, or some sort of time frame. So in this case, it's, uh, it's months and uh, some data associated with that. So this, this data is the uh, number of single family homes that are, have been started uh, during this time period. And so to graph it, I can uh, select it and we can just select both columns just by clicking and dragging. Uh, and we can go to the insert, just like the other, other charts that we've done. And in this case, for a time base, we wanna do a line, uh, a line graph or a line chart. So I'll select this and I'll select this first one right here. Now there's, there's several different ones. Um, you can get all fancy and uh, I don't know where this went, but you can get all fancy and do this, or you can just, um, uh, you know, just pick the first one, the easiest one. And you can see here again, just like all the other ones, we can, we can change uh, the, the layout of the chart or the specifics of the data. This is not recommended. This is what you don't want it to look like. Um, you know, this is, this is definitely good, you know, a line chart. And you can see in this line chart that the dates are listed down here and the values or the number of housing, uh, number of single family homes that have been started is here. And you can see that there is a trend upward when I look at this, but then there was a huge drop off in, in 2006, 2007. I believe that was when the whole housing uh, market exploded. Um, so I, I think that's, that, that's what happened was the, the number of new homes that were started went way, way, way down. So, um, so here, you know, you can tell a story with, with a, with a, a time-based graph as well. And that is as simple as it gets.